Have you ever strolled into your office, fired up your computer, and visited your website only to see this? Or this? In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear your site with Google to get rid of that nasty red screen. I'm also going to give you a heads up on some vulnerabilities to watch out for on your WordPress website. Then I'm going to give you two preventative solutions to prevent this from happening to your site again. Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm the co-founder of Fly Plugins. We are the creators of WP Courseware, the leading WordPress learning management system plugin for WordPress. And on this channel, we give tips, tutorials, and strategies for creating and selling online courses. You might be thinking, Ben, why are you telling me about site security on a channel about creating and selling online courses? That's a great question. Over the years, we've assessed thousands of support requests for our products. During many of those troubleshooting efforts, we found that many of our customers simply don't have secure sites. This is a huge deal because I've seen sites that have been utterly destroyed or have had revenue stolen because they've not taken proper steps to secure their site. Let's start off by talking about four vulnerabilities that can affect your WordPress website. First off, we have brute force attacks. Unlike hacks that focus on vulnerabilities in software, a brute force attack attempts the simplest kind of method to gain access to your site. Basically, a botnet tries various combinations of usernames and passwords that are commonly used over and over and over until it gets access to your website. Once admin access to your website is gained, then it's game over. They can install malicious code, they can steal data, and even worse, they could potentially steal revenue. There are a couple things that you can do to prevent this from happening. First, do not use admin as the login name. Make sure you use a username that isn't easily guessed. Next, use a complex password. Insert characters, numbers, symbols. Make it really long. Also, if you have multiple admins, make sure they are all being cautious and using complex passwords. Another thing you can do is to install a plugin that limits login attempts. Lastly, you can install a CAPTCHA plugin for the login form. Next is vulnerabilities in WordPress, plugins, and themes. First, you need to make sure that WordPress is up to date and current. There have been vulnerabilities found in WordPress that could potentially put you at risk. Later in this video, I'm going to give you a specific example of a WordPress vulnerability that you may currently have on your site. Next, make sure that your plugins and themes are current and up to date. I can't tell you how many times I've logged into a site that shows an update available for almost every plugin installed. Lastly, but most important, beware of premium plugins and themes that are available for free or sold by a third party. These plugins are most likely infected with malware that could compromise your site or use your site's resources. For example, someone may insert code for a Bitcoin miner, which would then consume your server resources and would bring your site to a crawl or perhaps they can add code to give them a backdoor into your site, which they will have absolute control over your site. Here are a couple of examples of sites offering free plugins or plugins that are being resold by a third party. First, we have this site called Free Softwares that offers tons of premium plugins for free. As you can see, this site is offering these plugins for free. The problem with this is that they are likely infected with malware. The next example shows someone who is attempting to resell stolen plugins at a discount. This loser of a person's alias name is Salen. Salen has multiple sites like WP Learns and Salen.com. Both of these sites contain premium plugins being resold at a discount. The problem here is that this person is likely infecting the plugins with malware that will likely give them e-commerce information about your site, which could allow them to steal your revenue. Think about this carefully for a minute. Why would someone offer you a plugin for free or at a discount if there wasn't some sort of ulterior motive? If they don't have a problem stealing the plugin from the original author, what makes you think that they won't attempt to hack or compromise your site? Also, 
When you download a free or a discounted plugin from a third party source, you don't get updates and you don't get support for those plugins, which is a big deal because updates are critical in fixing vulnerabilities inside the plugin itself. Next is content injection. This is when a hacker injects content into your site, which gives them the ability to deface your site. WordPress had a major vulnerability back in version 4.7 and 4.71, where the REST API was vulnerable to content injection. This is why it's important to keep your WordPress site and plugins and themes all up to date. If you are currently on WordPress 4.7 or 4.71, please update your site now. Next, we have SQL injection. This is where a hacker can obtain data from your database by inserting a SQL query into a web form on your site, like a contact form or a login form. This is dangerous because you could potentially give up user IDs or even worse, passwords. Not only that, but a malicious attacker could submit a SQL drop query, which means they could potentially delete an entire table from your database, which means data loss. Backing up your website is super important. Using a backup plugin like Backup Buddy or even checking to see if your web hosting service includes a backup solution would be a great idea. There are many other types of vulnerabilities. However, I just wanted to give you an idea of what's out there. Now, let's talk about some solutions. First, let's get rid of that pesky Google red screen. According to Google, there are four steps to getting your site cleared. Let's take a look. First, you must register and verify your site with the Google Search Console. Second, you'll need to log into the Search Console and check the Security Issues section. Third, you need to review the security issue. Now, Google does have resources to help identify these issues. However, my recommendation is to take extreme measures to ensure that your site is cleaned up. Here are five simple steps that you can use to clean your site. First, you need to reinstall WordPress. This is pretty easy. You just click a button. Next, you'll need to reinstall all of your plugins, downloading the actual plugin from the original source. That's very important, by the way. Remember, no free plugins and no third-party plugin sites. Third, you'll need to check the root of your site for any suspicious files that don't look like default WordPress files. To do this, you'll need FTP access to your web server. If you aren't sure what comes with WordPress, you can always download a copy of WordPress, unzip the file, and take a look at all the contents on the root level. Number four, you want to delete the .ht access file in the root of your website. To do so, you'll need to use FTP. You can then recreate this file automatically by logging into WordPress and resaving the permalink structure. Finally, install a security plugin like Security and configure it. Oh, and don't forget to back up your site. The fourth step from Google is to request a review from Google. It may take some time for Google to actually clear your site. Once they have cleared your site, they will remove the red screen and the hack notice on the search engine results page. Now on to our two preventative solutions. The first one is Cloudflare. Cloudflare has a plethora of functionality like providing content delivery network services. It also helps mitigate DDoS attacks, provides DNS services, prevents botnet attacks like scraping and reposting content or brute force attacks. It also prevents data snooping and DNS spoofing. And it acts as a website application firewall. There is a WordPress plugin that you can install that allows you to control caching on your site. Seriously, this service is worth every penny you pay. The second preventative solution that I recommend is Security. Security is a service as well as a WordPress plugin. The service basically has the same exact functionality as Cloudflare. However, the WordPress plugin is a bit more intuitive in my humble opinion. There are a ton of options to help you harden your WordPress installation which locks down your site. I don't have the time to go into the details of every feature of Security on this video. However, perhaps in a future video, I can get a little bit more detailed. Now you might be thinking, okay, Ben, but which solution do you personally use? Personally, I use both. I use Cloudflare's Security 
CDN and DNS service, which not only protects my site, but serves up my site super fast. I also use the free security plugin to help harden my WordPress site, log all activity, send me notifications when someone installs and activates a plugin, and it scans my site for malware as well. It's certainly worth your time to investigate either one of these solutions or both. Do you have any additional strategies for locking down a WordPress site? If so, please leave a comment below. I hope you found this information super helpful and I really hope that you are able to lock down and protect your WordPress website. Oh, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any super helpful content just like this one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.